Hey, Merry Bash. It is the 4th of March, 2018. And I just come in the office, as I usually do, and I check my two main headline suppliers here. These are, these are the ones I go to to just get a, an idea of what's going on in the world. This is what I do. And this pattern continues. This is just crazy, right? The 13, 33, 31, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. It's just, it's just crazy, but it's all meaningful. And in my perspective, from what I'm showing you and what I get from this is we're just being shown the spiritual war that is just raging everywhere. And most people aren't aware of it. And a lot of this, what I'm seeing lately, the 3-3, three, three, the 13, I can't tell you exactly what it all means. But what I'm getting in my spirit is just showing us the, the, the times that we, that this, this spiritual war is, is absolutely about to just burst into the physical realm, like, like chaos and turmoil and, you know, as if it's not already chaotic and full of turmoil. But Donald Trump likes chaos. If you haven't read one of these articles I saw here somewhere. Yeah, I think this one's it right here. I like turnover. I like chaos. It really is good. That's what he said. But I digress because that isn't what I wanted to talk about. The, what I'm talking about is this pattern I've been seeing. It's just crazy. The, these articles just came out just now. Just This is what I see in these, these aggravators here. And so I'm just looking through the articles, that's all. And, and of course, this, I live in, in this area. And so the nine dead from this storm that just passed through here. And the first thing that pops in my mind is, oh, wow, that's sad. But also three times three. There's, there's that 33 again. And this is just me, 131, March 3rd. This came out last night at 131. So it came out 33 three at 131. Three times three dead. I can't help it. This I can't. I just see it. I'm compelled to show it. Just, again, to just illustrate, you know, where we are in this spiritual war. And we are close is where we are. And so I just keep poking around. That's all I do. And then this one is out here too. Uh, this 13 foot robot, you know, right out of a sci-fi movie. It was just one of the headlines. So I click it. You know what I mean? 13 foot tall robot. And this just craziness, man. Uh, Trump confidant, this, uh, Carl Icahn gajillionaire guy here. Okay, he sold off a bunch of stocks just in time or whatever, made a bunch of money or whatever. 31.3 million. And you could go through this article and there's like all kinds of, there's more. Let me just put it that way. There's more. But there that is. And then I see this Uber Lyft earning 337 an hour, which is sad. But I mean, there's a 13 again. I mean, even the time is 13. 625 so there it keeps going again and it doesn't end there this was like super weird right this roger banister the first guy to run four minute mile dies at 88 of all ages right this is fresh this morning and you know i read it and it, it doesn't really it didn't ring anything out to me but what i was once again moved to do was take this may 6 1954 and that's when he broke the record and and I was just just put it in and see what you get out of it so I put it in May 6 1954 to today and I get 23,313 days 63 years 9 months which is 639 is is a story all in itself in 26 days but look at this and you tell me you tell me and I'll go away 3,330 weeks and three days. Okay? So, Mr. Bannister, um, who died at 88, uh, broke a record 3,330 weeks and three days ago. 
today. And then there you have it, okay? And of course, it never ends, right? I mean, this is just, this is, again, this is just how how heavy this spiritual war is going on right now. Is It's just like nonstop, man. I mean, nonstop. We all know about the, uh, the what's up, time's up, whatever. Yeah, the time's up thing going on. Well, there's this weird little video they did here. Well, you know, CBS News, where they got all their one-eye sons all over their stage and everything. And I'll link that to you guys. But look at the pins that Bloomberg is putting out for the stars to wear tonight. Orange. And do you know that orange is the only color that in Gematria equals 33? That's right. And it's just the way it is. At 1.41 p.m. Never mind. The flag has 13 stripes on it, though. So, there's that. And these are what they're getting them to wear tonight, courtesy of Mr. Bloomberg, everybody's friend, right? Now, just to end it all, right, okay, and believe it or not, I could actually keep going on here, but it, it, I think the point I'm trying to make, I hope I'm making, is being made. But this Roger Ball Bannister thing is what really just, I mean, come on, you guys, right? But not only that, not only that, we'll just finish it off with this. I am led, once again, to put Roger Bannister into my little Gematria generator. And I look at the Jewish Gematria. 589. And do you know who else is 589? I already knew this. That's why it was kind of funny for me to see this. Donald Trump. Without the J. Interesting, huh? Mr. Mr. Bannister went out with quite a story to leave behind, in my view. All this tells me, folks, is when you are in the Spirit, when you are in Christ, you understand where you are and who you are and where you're going and what to do. And then you just follow him, praying always. And these days, you best be looking up always because time is short, I'm telling you. So, I guess I'll just leave you with that. Uh, maybe I'll see you guys later. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Uh, peace and grace to all of you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 